This is Chris Wisnia. I am at the Grand Canyon in Nevada thinking about Jack Kirby and how much I used to hate him when I was a kid. I hated his art. I uh, grew up in the 80s comics of his and he, he was really developing his kind of blocky style where the, the fists of the people looked like uh, giant rolls of quarters and the women's fingernails looked like they were sharpened in pencil sharpeners. I found the women unattractive and everything was so shiny. There's all this weird shiny machinery and even the men's bodies were shiny. It just drove me crazy and it, it didn't look uh, photographically accurate and that I think drove me the most crazy of all. If I accidentally bought a Jack Kirby comic, and I remember doing this, I think maybe someone else did the cover or something, and I was so furious when I realized it was his work. Um, so then I went to college and I, I started uh, studying modern art and stuff and uh, getting into non-representational art and uh, art by artists uh, who didn't draw photorealistically. Uh, one of my favorites was Dubuffet. This was at UC Davis, my degree in art. And uh, when I got out of school, I got a minimum wage job because I had a degree in art, so what else could I do? And there's a comic book shop uh, right next door to where I was working, and so I found myself kind of going in and uh, getting into comics again. And uh, I started thinking about Kirby with, with a new perspective, I started realizing, well, all this modern art isn't photorealistic, so maybe it's okay if Kirby isn't photorealistic. And, and then I started kind of appreciating Kirby for what he was and what he was doing. And when, when I took a step back from my concerns about photorealism, I, I started uh, really appreciating just the, the amount of power in his characters and imagery and, and uh, the motion he was able to convey, where you, you swear it looks like something's actually jumping uh, across the page. If, if you, you know, if you catch it in the corner of your eye, you're like, did that just move? There, there's just uh, so, so much magic in those panels. And uh, so it wasn't until out of college that, that I really came to love Kirby. Uh, but it, it took me uh, kind of questioning my own values before I was able to get to that point where I loved him as much as I do.